Mainstage gives you tons of flexibility to dial in sounds to be exactly what you need. But if you're not a sound designer or if you don't have tons of time on your hands, it can be really overwhelming to try and create patches that have specific instruments for specific songs. In this video, you're gonna learn a simple way to find the exact sounds that you need to create an awesome layered patch designed specifically for a modern worship song. So let's start off. I've got our Sunday Keys template open in main stage. And we're gonna be working with what we call Patch Builder inside of Sunday Keys today. Patch Builder allows you to easily identify and load in the exact instruments that you need and then combine them with just a couple of clicks to create one ready to play layered worship patch. Now let's stay generic for the purposes of this video, but just keep in mind that you can get as specific and nuanced as you need when you're working in Patch Builder. So if you know that you need this, these exact four instruments, you're gonna be able to find them and dial them in using Patch Builder. So let's start off by adding a new patch and then clicking on user patches and choosing patch builder. Now in Sunday Keys, you have four main sections and you can load a different sound into each section and then combine them into one patch. So let's start off in section one. And since we're going for something that's kind of broad and general, let's load in a piano sound. So when I click on piano, I can choose all pianos to view every preset that's included in Sunday Keys, or I can get a little more precise. Let's say that I know I really want a bright piano sound. So now I've got a few options for bright pianos and I can click on one to load it into my concert. So I didn't have to open any plugins, it's just ready to go. And if I decide that that sounds not quite right for me, I can just arrow down to the next one and it's gonna load in so I can audition it. So you can take as much time or as little time as you need to find the exact sound that you're looking for. Plus, if something's really close, you can make some more tweaks to it using the on-screen modifier. So if it's a really great sound, but you'd like it to have a little bit of delay, you can just bring up the delay modifier. You can use your mouse on screen. I've got it connected to my MIDI controller here. So now I can play this sound with just a little bit of delay. So now I've got my first sound dialed in and ready to go. So let's add a pad sound on top of it. I'm gonna hit the plus button to add another patch. Go back to Patch Builder and choose Section 2. Now let's pull in a pad sound. We've got lots of options. You can view the entire list or you can get more specific if you have an idea of what you're looking for. Let's say that I want a bright pad to go with this bright piano sound. So I'm gonna load in this big bright pad. can audition as many of these as I'd like until I find one that's really close or just spot on for what I'm looking for. So let's go with this pad. I'm gonna add another patch. We're gonna put another instrument in section three. Let's say that I wanna put something down in the low end. We're gonna bring in a synth bass sound. So I'm gonna choose section three, go to bass, and I'll choose this sustained synth bass category. And we can start at the top here. Now let's grab one more sound. How about a nice arpeggiated sound? So if you don't have to be a sound designer to be able to do this. If you can identify the sounds that you need, all of the sound design work has already been done for you. You don't have to open any plugins and you don't have to worry about making mappings to your workspace. All of that's already done. You can just pick the sounds that sound good to you. And then in a second, I'll show you how to combine them. So I'm gonna go to the BPM ARP category and let's do a poly ARP here. We'll load in this one. Let's hear how this sounds. So 
So now I've got a piano sound, a really great pad, synth bass down in the bottom end, and a really cool pulsing art preset. So now we can use Patch Builder to combine all of these. And it's only been a couple of minutes, but we knew the instruments that we had in mind and we're able to find them really quickly. So now we just click on them all while holding shift on the keyboard and then choose new patch from selected patches and Patch Builder combines them into one layered patch. So if you have a really specific idea or sound that you're looking for, or if you wanna ask the keys player on your team to deliver some specific textures, Patch Builder makes it really easy because you don't have to worry about channel strips. You don't have to have a big knowledge of sound design. You just have to have a decent idea, a decent ear for what you need to end up in the final product. And then you're able to engineer it by just picking out those individual instruments, combining them into one. So now I'll go over here to perform mode and you can see that we've got our instrument ready to go. Now we can use these modifiers again to dial this sound in so it starts exactly where we want. And then you can save these settings by just hitting Command S on your keyboard. The next time you pull up this patch, it'll be ready to play. So you can name it the title of the song, you can preset the BPM so that it matches in with the click that you're playing to. And in just a couple of minutes, you've got one awesome ready to play patch. So here's how it sounds all together. It's a lot of fun to build patches for specific songs that are gonna nail the sounds you need. And it doesn't have to be hard for you or for your keys players to do it. If you'd like to learn more about Patch Builder, I'll include a link in the description of this video where you can check out this feature in more detail and learn all about Sunday Keys. Sunday Keys is designed to make it really simple for you to use Mainstage in a worship music context. So make sure to click the link and learn more about this template. Thanks for watching.